Welcome back to our Football Frenzy Tailgate Live at Houseman Field this morning where Justin Kolar and Matt Kirkwood are just warming up the field for the guys tonight. <laughs> and their legs. Maybe this is just, no. oh, did he just wipe out? <laughs> he dove for it. I see. All Matt right. underthrew him. <laughs> that is where Union will host Wyoming tonight. Both teams going for their first win. Yeah, the Union football team, they've not had a whole lot of success on the football field in a really long time. Uh, they've lost 45 straight games. Really long as in they have one win in their last 71 games. They've started the year with two straight losses. And yet we spent time with them this week and you'd never know that that streak existed. There's a rare energy that's feeding them right now and they're taking a fresh start at full steam. Never give up. I will never give up. Look closely and there is plenty of new on the Union football sidelines. New helmets, jerseys, cleats, even a new weight room. There's also a little of the same. I'm tired of losing. Anybody would be tired of losing every Friday, going out there and not having no hope. Losing is one thing. Despair is different. Look closer and you'll see that's the biggest change. But this year we got hope. This year, they have Don Fellows. Good job. Here we go. He just wants the best out of us so we can get go far in life. And it's, it's deeper than football. It's like football is just a game, but it's going to teach you a lot. The former state champion coach at Grand Rapids Christian I am tight. Turn right. Here we go. Let's go. Two claps. Three claps. Took over a team that hasn't won a single game since August 28, 2015. I told the kids on Friday, I said, listen, yeah, it might be embarrassing tonight, but I'm not embarrassed. I mean, I'm in this for the long run. This is a mission for fellows. Full speed sprint. He's committed five to ten years to build the program. He's even moved his daughter from Rockford schools to GRPS. I'm excited just to, to when it happens. It's not if it's going to happen. It's going to be when it happens, when we're going to be super competitive. Come here, you guys, let's hop over here. It's that belief in these players that has them there working on a Sunday despite the losses. And these kids have showed up, you know, from pretty much from June to now, we've had close to 50 kids every day. Um, so last year they had 17 in the, in the roster. So I think that's been a huge win for us. Yeah, everything feels different, man. The energy, the work, all, everything's just different, man. The love from the coaches, the tension, and everything's just different. Got it. All right, you guys go. None of these players have ever won a high school football game. Some didn't know where to line up. And day one was a brutal wake-up call. A lot of people couldn't even get through the basics. You know, people was throwing up. You know, it's tired easily. Couldn't even line up right. Just follow simple directions. It's an investment that Fellows has made that is already giving return. Belief and trust in him. I learned a lot. Like, you learn how to never quit. You learn how to, like, you, like, you got role models here that people that actually, like, love you. So it's like... We don't really get that that much. You learn something from each game, like, you know, you know, every time you lose, you learn from it. So just pick up what you learn and just, just take note on that and then hopefully change to keep focus on the win. What hasn't changed is Fellows, how he coaches, or his goals, wherever he's at. Offense! It's a state championship. I mean, it really is. I mean, I don't know why anybody would coach and, and not, that wasn't the goal. These players, they, they really believe it. Tonight is their night. They think they're going to break the streak against Wyoming. I know logistics is often a huge battle when it comes to situations where they can't get to practice. I mean, we've talked about it a lot in the past, how these kids had bus, but the coaches had bought them bus passes. It's still an hour drive to and from uh, school and practice. And fellas was like, I wouldn't play. So he set up pods, pinned the locations of all of his players, and he's got his coaches picking up four to six guys. They don't miss a practice. They don't miss a game. He's making it happen for them.